So Phil, is there anything out there that you've seen that uh, you could give us advice on that maybe that we want to avoid? Something that I came across last week and it was, it's, it screamed out to me that this is something that needs to be told, is we had a retailer call us. They thought that they bought a defective floor that was installed four years ago. And the problem with the floor was that they thought there was something eating it from beneath and they thought it was a factory defect. They asked us to come look, so we did. When we looked at it, when I put a moisture meter on that floor, it registered 17% moisture. I knew right away, and I could tell the retailer and the homeowner right away, that there is a moisture problem with that floor, which really called into question why the retailer called me in the first place. Because the retailer never took a moisture test on that floor, and guess who has to eat that floor now? The problem was, the retailer cornered me in front of the homeowner, I had my moisture meter, and there it read 17%. Just like if you'd gone to a job site with a moisture meter, put it on a concrete slab, and you knew without a doubt that that floor was not correct to just to lay down a regular glue type of a system. At that point, it stuck with me that I need to let this be known. That if you don't take the time and effort to do those little subtle things like show your customer the base foundation of what they're dealing with, they'll never upgrade to a better adhesive and you'll have a problem later down the road that you have to deal with. Perfect.